Hello everyone, welcome to Information with Tepiso. I am Tepiso Rungachana and you're tuned in to yet another sit down where we're tackling the Bachelor of Science in Maths and Physics qualification. Ladies and gentlemen, you know that I am never solo with the sit downs. I am joined by Prince Debeila and ladies and gentlemen, he will be giving us more light into the Bachelor of Science in Maths and Physics that he is a first year student in. Ladies and gentlemen, I make welcome none other than Mr. Tebeila. Welcome to our channel, Mr. Tebeila. I'm very well, I well, appreciate it to be here. Thank you so much for actually agreeing to do this interview with yes. us. Okay, so tell us what is a Bachelor of Science in Maths and Physics? Bachelor of Science in physics and maths is a degree that deals with three categories of science, which is math science, physics science, and chemistry science. Tell us what inspired you to, you know, pursue this qualification. Very interesting question. Mm. So what persuaded mm -hmm. is the fact that I wanted to actually publish some few formulas of my own. Mm -hmm. So the only way was to come to varsity, get more knowledge mm -hmm. and into narrowing down and polishing up the formulas mm -hmm. to, to, to validate them. So that's why I'm persuading this degree. Oh, interesting. So you are that good in maths to a point where you can actually come up with simpler formulas. Definitely. Ooh, it's very nice to be you because quite a lot of students don't really, you know, like maths, let alone, you know, coming or trying to come up with formulas that can actually simplify their studying or their practice of maths. And that I find that very interesting. Please take us through your academic journey from high school into university. So my academic journey, mm -hmm. it's in a way of, it was a struggle, I don't want to lie. Because just to give you a bit um, of background of exactly how I started loving maths. Mm -hmm. When I was in grade 10, no, grade 8, I failed maths. Oh. I used to get the 40s mm. in, in grade 8, though I was participating in class, mm -hmm. until there came a teacher, which I'm very grateful for her teaching me it was mem kamunda mm, mem kamunda we thank you yeah so, so that uh, she pretty much explained maths in a simpler way she mm. made everything more interesting the first attempt of how she attended a question in class mm. made me more interested mm. because i remember she was attending a question where she was dealing with fractions mm -hmm. she didn't even use a calculator to find the the digits that were behind the comma mm. so that made me interesting in I really want to be like her. Yeah. Then from there I started, that's when I started getting good grades in grade nine. Also from grade nine until grade 12, you were getting good grades in maths. Yes. And what about other subjects? Uh, other subjects, I was a person who was passing because of, I needed to get to the next grade. Mm -hmm. Because I also got uh, advice to continue, especially in grade eight, and nine, I was passing EMS mm. very well, mm -hmm. but it was in a way of like, I needed to pass just because that was the only way in keeping up the grades well. Mm. Then when I went to grade 10, they said I should continue in accounting, but since well, I'm not an accounting person, I had to just continue with another subjects that don't do deal with accounting. Uh, what do you mean you, you're not in a, uh... As much as I am a numbers person, mm -hmm. I just didn't like the fact of going more de into detail on reading paragraphs and taking out information. Oh, yeah. okay. Because with, with, with um, EMS, that's how far I know about commerce. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I dropped it from grade nine. Exactly. I know there's like a, 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 a paragraph that they give you. You yeah. have to extract values so, there yeah. put them in a table and 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 I hated oh that. okay so you are more of a problem solver from a problem that doesn't look like it has solutions exactly oh okay that explains why you actually have um formulas because now you can 
create something out of the problem that you are seeing. So what are the subjects that are required for one to be admitted into university for Bachelor of Science in Maths and Physics? It's Maths, Physics, Life Science, or Accounting as well. Okay. And English. Oh, and English. They require English? Yes. Okay, They're what are the, the, the NSC levels? So the NSC levels is at least level five of English, mm -hmm. at least level five of maths, at mm -hmm. least level five of physics, at least also level five of life science. What do you mean at least? Does it mean that if I get level four, I can get into the program or at least means level five is the minimum? At least means that it's the minimum. Okay. But since your life is a competition, mm -hmm. it's not guaranteed that when you get level five, you'll get in. Okay. People so... are studying out there. Mm -hmm. Oh, people are studying out there. Exactly. Okay. So what is the APS level for the Bachelor of Science in Maths and Physics? It's 35. 35? Yes. All right. So if I get 34, will I, do I stand a chance of getting into the program? Since all this Bachelor of Science degrees differ, mm -hmm. There is one or two or few that I may not know, but that requires you to be admitted with at least APS of 33. Okay. But I think the minimum APS for a Bachelor of, degree, a bachelor of Science is 33. It can't be lower than that. Okay, so those, that's Bachelor of Science in general, in general, not specifically Bachelor of Science in Maths and Physics. Yes. So, but for phys Maths and Physics, you cannot get in with a 34 APS. It's very slim. It's very slim. Yeah. Okay, so since there's competition, we will just say it's highly impossible. It's highly impossible. It's safe to say that. It's highly impossible. Just stick to 35. And above. And about. Okay. All right. So what are the courses that one gets to do in first year of BSc Maths and Physics? In first year, mm -hmm. the modules that we focused on is chemistry, physics, which is physical physics. And we also have maths. We have computer literacy and we also have programming inside. Oh, okay. It's quite a lot. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. Are you coping though? Well, I'm only coping in the modules that I love. The rest is just taking... Uh, I don't know how to put it, but it's, it's tough. I'm just making sure that I just passed. That's all. Yeah. Do you know the minimum or maximum salary or wage of a person who has a qualification in Bachelor of Science in Maths and Physics? For myself, I do not know anything. You do not know about wages. I was never interested in, in knowing how much they get paid at all. And what is the reason behind that? It's just the love of maths. But me getting a degree is also just finding more. I just want to find more ways of creating more formulas mm -hmm. because I mm -hmm. think I, it, it's more interesting when I'm sitting down and thinking thoroughly about something that's mm -hmm. not yet found. Okay, mm -hmm. but are you considering going into postgraduate, like honors, masters, and PhD in mathematics? So far, no. So far, no. So you 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 will end here after yeah. the degree you're after done. After the degree, I'm done. Tell us what are the different jobs that you can get to do after completing your qualification. So the very closest one is either you become a lecturer, mm -hmm. second one you become a teacher, mm -hmm. third mathematician, fourth statistician, mm -hmm. and yeah. Oh, okay. That I, I hear that you're mentioning teaching and the fact that you also alluded to the teacher, you said her name is? Mem Kamunda. Mem Kamunda, who made you love mathematics after failing it. And I just want to ask if you have ever thought of venturing into teaching mathematics or physics to high school pupils. Yeah, well, for myself, it will be difficult for me to become a teacher. Not everyone is meant to become a teacher. Mm -hmm. So I very much appreciate those teachers out there. They're really doing a good job because they know a way in getting into students' heads, making them understand mm -hmm. the content and knowing how to apply it as well. Mm -hmm. So it's very important for them to do that and we applaud them for doing that. Mm -hmm. But for me, 
it's very difficult. Why do you say it's difficult for you to be a teacher? So I'm more a per, more of a person who is good in actually writing things down. Okay. So I find it much more hard to explain to a person. Okay. So you're not more of a lip service person, you are a pen service person. Exactly. Oh, okay. Which explains why um, uh, uh, you are able to discover and establish new formulas because then you'll be able to put them down on paper and somebody reading or, or like, like seeing it on paper will be able to just interpret it from paper. Yes. And I think you can, um, we're just hoping that futuristically you get to, you know, the boards of people that are writing textbooks and, and, and mathematical formulas that can be used to simplify and make maths very lovely and lovable okay Definitely. so all right so that that's very interesting and have you ever thought of writing books though like mathematical books yes the first one was uh, i wanted to actually write a study guide just basically focusing on one topic which is functions okay yeah that was the main focus i wanted i also wanted to do that but that in the future for sure, it is promised. You're on the lookout. Yeah. Oh, okay. Look we are on the lookout for a study guide specially designed or established by Mr. Prince. Aside from schooling, is there any other thing that you do? Mm -hmm. Hey, tell us, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, seems interesting. It seems interesting. It is interesting. Mm -hmm. Just, uh, I do forex trading. Okay. Yeah. So besides that, I have another side companies that I'm actually venturing into. Okay. Have is, you started it? Yeah. It's mm -hmm. into advertising. I still working in uh, partnering up with car dealerships at the moment. Okay. Yeah. And another one is I have another partners which we want to venture into, which I can't publicize yet, mm -hmm. but we, there's more that we want to do. Oh, okay, so with advertising, what what type of advertising do you do? We advertise cars. Okay. And actually, the agency is just more into advertisement, but as much as I want to focus more in advertising cars, mm -hmm. it's in a way of... The reason why I started this company was that in 2021, we we had a struggle in terms of NSPAS giving out payments to students. Mm -hmm. So I found a way of employing students so that they can have an extra means of cash mm -hmm. as an allowance mm -hmm. but also just taking just two minutes of their time advertising for us okay so in a way it it it, it increases our way of advertising like the audience is bigger mm -hmm. and less time of working mm -hmm. and also just also getting money as well. oh okay so it's your business or you have partnered it, with other people no it's my business i just it's i'm just working on employing students okay yeah. Oh, interesting. Uh, students, if you are looking for an extra income stream, hit him up. I will link his social media details in the description below and make sure that you get that job for yourself. All right. So I hear you mentioning like advertising for cars. Uh, can you please just go deeper into that? Um, it's a way of... Uh this generation as much as we see people going to car garages mm -hmm. people are failing to do that more often now so people rely on facebook people rely more on you know googling stuff mm -hmm. people now know what they want okay. it's no longer like in the past where we like we go to the garages we go check out the cars and then two days later we come and we have made a decision of what car we want we mm -hmm. already have a budget we know what we want mm -hmm. and it's much more simpler if we all have devices these days. So having Facebook, I'd, I'd be able to show you which cars we have in store. What's your budget? In a way, like you don't spend much in going to garages, different garages. Mm -hmm. So I will be partnering with a lot of car, car garages, mm. which they will have different cars. So meaning I, I can give you various cars from different car dealerships and you choose mm -hmm. which one you want. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want Prince to give you his final words, a word of motivation 
to somebody who's watching and they probably are interested in studying Bachelor of Science in Maths and Physics or maybe they they are also very good in maths and they've also established formulas you know that make practicing of maths very easy my last words is to the to the viewers in general is that never lose hope in what you're doing and one another thing is as much as you may find new ways or you might have new discoveries don't hold them to you they were meant to be out there so find a way in coming out speaking to people the right people who will make those things uh, be abroad mm. you know they will be helpful to some people and it is very important that it is it's reaching masses so don't keep them to yourself okay interesting thank you so much ladies and gentlemen we've come to the end of today's sit down and this is information with Tapiso. Thank you so much for tuning in. See you in the next upload. Bye.